Everyone living in a high bushfire risk area needs a plan, and that includes CFA members and their families. Although CFA traditionally delivers fire safety programs to the general community, it's recognised that CFA families also need to be supported. Often the families of our members will face bushfire alone while their husbands, wives, mothers or fathers are out on the front line. Hamilton is one brigade that has organised a brigade bushfire planning workshop for its members. Rayleigh Vandermost has Hamilton's story. My husband Richard and I have been operational members of the CFA for a combined 29 years. Still newbies really. Our brigade held a Fire Ready Victorian meeting that we attended. It was there to our embarrassment that we realised we both had very different ideas about what our family would do on a bad day. As other members started discussing what they would do, we realised we weren't the only ones. Many had not even discussed with their families what to do, and it was a real eye-opener for all of us. The importance of having a bushfire survival plan was discussed at subsequent brigade meetings, and we passed a motion that all operational members are strongly advised to have a plan. To help our brigade get this done, we decided to do something further about it and organised a brigade bushfire planning workshop at Hamilton, especially for operational members and their families. At the workshop, with the help of a facilitator, we worked through the fire ready kit and made personal decisions about leaving early or staying and actively defending, all with the thought in the back of our minds that we would probably be on the back of a truck. It helps us as operational firefighters to know that our families have a plan. So it was a big learning experience for all of us. Now we all have plans and we practice them each season and adapt them as our circumstances change. Now when I meet operational members from other brigades, I always bring this up. I encourage everyone, especially operational members, to sit down with their families before the season and develop or renew their bushfire survival plan. Another benefit is that once you've been through this process, you can talk more from personal experience when you discuss fire readiness planning with members of the wider community. A brigade-based bushfire planning workshop is well worthwhile and the district office can help to organise one. So that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and inspiring. I encourage you to share this information with anyone who might be interested. If you have any questions or you need any help with your community engagement activities, get in touch with your community education coordinator. They'll be able to point you in the right direction. Remember that both prevention and suppression is core business to CFA. And all the best with engaging your community. Thank you.